Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Plymouth Argo career mode. In the last episode, we started off with a brand new Sonic in Seoul. The Spanish centre mid is covering over Chiamato while she is injured, so we just needed someone new to fill in the gaps. And what a couple of debuts he's had, I mean he's been brilliant since he's coming to the Argo side. So very nice indeed. We started off with a 2-0 win over Everton in our first game in the last episode and then unfortunately conceded right at the end in the last game of the episode against Leicester with a bit of a mistake from Seco but he's been scoring so it's a bit 50-50 it was just a bit disappointing there it just kind of ruined the episode for himself but it is what it is currently sitting in seventh in the league at the moment with Chelsea and Man United just in front of us need to get back to winning form and just get a couple of wins underneath our belt so we can get into that fifth or fourth position in the premier league but focusing on this episode today we start off in a different competition and that is the emirates FA cup round 16 against the hammers west ham away in their brand new stadium a tough top side with uh, david moises being their manager in this career mode save so let's get into this game on the simulation because it is a cup game and see if we could do the number over West Ham at the London Stadium. Come on. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the lock today against West Ham away in the Emirates FA Cup. Of course, I'm going to start my strongest team against a side like this. A very strong side with West Ham here with Alvarez, Downs in the DM row, four nows, Dembele, Oklafex and Musa in the attack. Lindelof and Rodelio, Batiste, Longo and Brugnoli, if I say you pronounce it, in goalkeeper right there. A very strong team for West Ham. But looking at our team here, Saul obviously goes back into the team with the plus three. So it goes up to an 84 with Murray in the middle right there. Delgado goes into the left mid row with Navarra in the right mid. And pretty much the team is the same as per usual. I'm hoping Seco can't just make any of them silly mistakes as he has been kind of doing recently in recent form. He's been scoring goals, but just silly mistakes like that. He just needs to pick up his game a little bit, especially being one of the highest overall players in the team. He needs to show his worth. So let's get into the highlight game here and see what we can do against West Ham. Come on. So here we go then. Round five of the Emirates FA Cup. And here comes West Ham's uh, song here. A lot of bubbles here. I'm hoping that's not going to go into the eyes of more players. Could throw them off a little bit, you know? Little uh, cheeky little tactics there from West Ham. It seems a little bit cheating going on, maybe. I like West Ham, so. But I like our goal. A lot more. As you can see, if we win this game, let's say the next round could be against Wolves or Villa. If they've got a sneak peek there in the bottom left corner. But we need to get past the team at hand right now. And that is the Hammers. The player to watch for them, I think, and the most dangerous player on that pitch for them is Four Nows in that camera. So we just need to neutralise him. And hopefully Saul and Ray can close him up. Come on, let's get into this. So here we go then. Let's see how the highlights are going to play. Is it going to play into our favour or is it going to favour the home side in West Ham. Let's have a little gander. Obviously, there in the home colours in the purple and light and blue, baby blue shorts, and us in the white and black. We need folks in the game at hand. This guy, he's been turned by Dan Belly. Twice he's been turned down. Need to come over with a big night, so he keeps going. Need to get that challenge. There's a bad challenge. There's a shot, a goal, and Cooper's made the save. Well done, indeed. Corner kick for West Ham in the 22nd minute. A strong start from them, especially Dan Belly. See what they can do from this corner. There we go, please. David, well done. I'm just going to boot it out. That's it. Hopefully, it's, no, it's not going to stop for the next highlight here. They're going to get the advantage. They've played it through, but luckily it is offside. They did score with Dembele there. But the liner has got his flag up. Well done. And now, finally, we get a chance here. And there's two individuals up top. And second with David. I'm looking more at David. He's got more of the angle. Can we get the passer in time? We kind of can. Can we? We can. And it's Paul David. Can he make it 1 0 against West Ham? He can't. He's missed a sitter. Oh, he's missed a sitter. He needs to take that chance. I don't know why he hit it with his left foot. I didn't uh, activate the finesse button. I just went for the normal shot and he's gone for that type of shot there. So very strange. I'm going to go for a play on the line there. Be a bit ratty. It's going over and it's just hit the roof of the net. Another free kick opportunity here for West Ham, the 65th minute, straight after the one they just had. Bit annoying about Paul David. I don't know why he took that type of shot. There we go, he's lifted in. Got to get that well done from Saul. New sign stepping up once again. And now we're going to get another chance here. And it is with Seco. Looks like a bit of a one on opportunity. These bubbles are doing a bloody end. I thought they'd disappear by now. Paul Davis come on the overlap and Seco can't get it off again. That's what I'm talking about. 
just delayed from the striker there. You need to play a bit quicker. It looks like I was in minutes. Come on here. Can we get this go here? Just swing it in. It's going towards Paul David. He's got a lead. Oh, it's still alive though. Back out wide there. That post sec was calling for it. I can see it, but it's not the best ball. And Downs has collected it comfortably. And we have been absolutely mugged off here by the game. Okay. Oh, what is this game? We need Cuba to step up here unless see what Jack can kind of get in front and he scored. Oh, really, EA? Really? You're going to do me like that? Oh, I can't believe it. I mean, I know highlights is decent, but I mean, what the hell can I do from that situation? I literally got to hope and pray that somehow Cuba just pulls off a worldie. And because of that, we've lost. Just like that, with a click of my fingers right now, we have lost because of some stupid highlight right on the end of the 90th minute. But, you know, rules are rules. We have to play highlight games. That is my rule. To see if the team can do the job without me controlling it, really. You know, in such way. You know, you know what I mean. And it's backfired on us. And West Ham have got the victory, and we are out. Just like that. 1-0 from Dembele. Ugh. We continue on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the next game is against Villa. And it looks like we're not going to get any titles this season, which is very annoying. But don't blame me. Blame EA. Well, you could blame Paul David there, I suppose, with that weird-ass shot he did uh, with the only pretty good, decent chance we had. But it is what it is. We need to focus on uh, getting top five position now. But first, we need to get past Villa away. So, out of the Carabao Cup, out of the FA Cup, let's focus on the league now. The main objective is a must. Let's get into the lineups against Villa. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup against Villa today away. A couple of little changes in the team today. I've decided to start Ryan Hardy over Seco. Just, yeah, he has been scoring, but like we saw there, just with the delay pass, you know, I think he just needs the time to reflect on some of his choice makings, maybe, his delayness. So, hopefully, Hardy can come into the team here and do the job today. And just, you know, if Hardy steps up, it just means that Seco in the next game, he's got to step up again because, uh, you know, Hardy could take his place. You never know. We've also got Sal back in the centre mid row once again. And Isaac Miller in left wing. Well, left mid if you are, however you want to call it here. Looking at Villa's side though. They've got Marcus Rashford still in that left wing spot. I don't know how he's still in that team there. But fair do. Sergio Busquets in the middle there. We should be able to take advantage with a bit of pace there. With Moray and maybe Saul there. He's a very slow player getting there of age in the fourth season. So we should be taking advantage of that. They have got Den Donker and Kamara though in the centre mid and DM row. Two decent players, especially Kamara. I would have thought his potential is quite decent these days. And that's also Castillo up top as well. Strong side, bit of 50-50 this game. So this can go any way here. But we need to come out victorious. Come on. So here it is then. The Premier League is back for this episode. And we start off against Villa. Like I said, a bit of a 50-50 game this. You know, we've got a strong team. They've got a strong team. Overalls are pretty much similar, I would say. So this can go either way. I mean, obviously, Villa's got the home advantage, which could also play into their favour a lot. But hopefully, we need to bounce back from that West Ham uh, defeat. It's just one of them. It's a highlight game. What can you do, you know? It is what it is. But come on, we can get past Villa today. There's me looking on with Jesse with a lot of fire in the background. I look like bloody Kane from the WWE. But come on. Enough of that. Let's go for it. Radio, so here we go then. Can Argo bounce back after that defeat against West Ham? Which are very annoying from EA Sports. But, you know, that's not a really true test, is it? I mean, when we come through the highlights, we're not actually really properly controlling the game. So this is more of the test of this episode right now. So Navarro on the ball. We could start quite nice here. Could think it in there to Ryan Hardy. And it just need to be a little bit higher than from Navarro. But a decent start. But we always do start quite well in this career mode and then we kind of fall off a little bit so we need to fix that we need to keep that consistency for the whole 90. Well from the borrow though can we get that chance there we can't that's still on the ball he plays it over to Felisto bit of stopping us there but Van Dijk does well enough to try and resolve that which he has done well done borrow nice fake out there he sent him to the shot now Paul Davis on the ball Ryan Hardy doing the classic runs he does it's a good touch but he's just pulled it out wide we probably could have just kept still Gone straight there, but just kind of threw me off a tad. But a beautiful start so far, 15 minutes in, and I couldn't ask for a better start from the lads. Was it Miller plays it over? It's a lovely bit of play there, lovely dink there. 
Reinhardt is peeling off a little bit. He cannot find the gap though. He's falling a little bit there. Not well enough. So he does unfortunately not get that ball there. And now it goes to him. Now it goes to Moretti and Nicky. They're looking okay so far. Didn't need to have that there. I thought that went out there, ref. Chambers on the board, plays it to probably one of their best players on the pitch in Kamara. Obviously got to watch out for Marcus Rashford. He's probably their biggest threat up top. Castillo on the ball, can't get the good luck on here. It goes to, oh, why would you pass it there? I'm not, I'm not going to complain, but I couldn't pronounce his name, but he should have probably scored that. Hardy's making the run. Can we find Ryan Hardy and they'll be right? Just close him down, Hardy. Oh, I thought Chambers made a mistake and we could have snatched it right there. Ball, plays the Denton code, plays the LBY to Marcus Rashford, it seems. Rashford has a shocker until we check we've collected that free interception all day long. Will David could be through there. Will David on the ball now? We'll wait for the overlap there with Miller. Play it back to Paul David. Paul David on the finesse! And I thought that was creeping in. It's a good shot from our captain. And it just goes wide, but a good start there for Margo. Just maybe sloppy a little bit with that rush for Derby wide, but other than that, it's been okay so far. Just need to find the goal. All right, so Villa are going to put this long. They have, as what I expected, has gone to the target man in Rashford. Tiwa Cech fails to win that down though, and the header to play it inside. There's going to be a goal before this half. Sao probably should have played a better pass there. It's recovered well, well done. Save me there. Navarro can get the pass there and the challenge. That's gone a great ball to Castillo! And I don't know who that is. It seems like a regen or a Yoth Academy player, but he's made it 1-0. I can't really complain about anyone there, to be honest. I mean, it was just a really good ball and a decent finish. A great ball from Kamara. He caught Nigel out, again smacking the tad. And there's a great finish from Castillo, the number 11. And what a start for Villa to make it 1-0 just before the break. Seven goes in 25 for Xavier Kube Castillo. Fair play. Already so Argo need to bounce back now. 1-0 down, but we are a second half team. We're like that in real life, and we're kind of like that in career mode. Can we get some runs going here? I'm gonna fake out the run actually. That's it, let's fake out a tad. There's a ball there. To Moretti, we can't get the turns though, can we? We can't get the turn. Time. Right, so half time is gone, only one minute. Just need to open it up a little bit. I think Seku needs to come onto the pitch. No offense to Hardy, he's been alright, but he isn't no Seku. So hopefully Seku now can prove me wrong and get us to go back into this team. But one new at the break. I'll let you know if I'm any change. So ladies and gentlemen, I've made a one substitution, but I've actually changed the full formation. I've actually gone for a 4-2, no, 4-3-2-1, sorry. With Navarro, Paul David, and Benjamin Seco on the pitch now in the center four rows and the striker rows. Belchon goes in in center mid as well. He comes on the pitch as well, just to cover there in the middle, just that extra attack and threat. So let's see what this formation does for us. Let's have a little gander, see if it works a little bit better. A bit more attacking, I feel like, with the three players up front. Let's have a little look. Well done from Scalvini. Well done indeed. Right, can we get the ball in the box here? It's going in. It's a good header out wide. Do they collect it. It's going in again here. Well done from Scalvini. Can we capitalise on this now? Coach him on the uh, little one twos there. He's going to keep running. So not the best ball from Navarro though. And well, it's very short there. Oh, nice, well done. Second wants it. We've got to go for Paul David there. It's a good challenge there, and it is going to be a free kick on the edge of the pot. So I was hoping Belton would kind of run onto that and grab the ball there. But it didn't do it. Callum Chambers gets both number 38. Second's fuming. He's not happy about that. It's a good touch there, and it's a naughty little foul. Definitely a yellow. But it's a good chance outside the box here. And let's see if we've got any decent free kick takers. It looks like Moretti's our free one, but I'll tell you what, I might play it into Navarro there. He's got no one in front of him. We might be getting an easy goal here. Navarro, and he's done it! He snuck it in, let's grab the ball. A great finish from the young Argentine player right there. 
He has done it right there. We took advantage of it. Like I said, I did see it. He's just got the posh off. It's not the, really the crispest shot in the world. He's more looped into the top left corner. But a goal's a goal. We are back in this. Come on. Good finish. So Navarro makes it 1-0 in the 61 minute right there. So can we actually step up it? Marco Rash was ducked to win that against Tibor Czech. Ocham on the ball now. The Spaniard. Seckles making the run. We're going to try and find it's a great ball. We cannot hit it down. though. Beltran does, though, to Navarro. Navarro, can he go for the pot? In Navarro! And it's a great save here from Stakovic. We're definitely going to bang that shot there, but unlucky. We've got a substitution here. They'll get on for Paul David. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Get a bit of fresh legs up top. Why the hell not? Castillo, the goal scorer, goes off there. I don't know who for. And obviously, Paul David, the captain, goes off. Let's see if we can swing a ball in here. Bruce just calling the picture. Big Nigel's there. Nigel! And he's done it! Adrian's deemed himself after being very slacky out of the back for Castillo's goal. And it's Mr. Non-Render himself. That's a goal and assist for Navarro today as well. The man of the match easily. And our centre back has leaped up the Sergio Ramos of the team. What a bullet of header. You're not saving that. And now, like I said, we're a second half team. We have took the lead. Rash has got no chance. What a bullet header. Well done. Come on. So call me Josie Mourinho. The tactics, the formation change has worked. Is this maybe the new formation now? Keep bloody changing. But that is football. You've got to change things around when things ain't going your way. And we have. Well done. Walker on the ball now. Plays it to Fujimento. Bloody name is Brewster. The new substitution striker gets the ball. Goes up wide to Kessler. Timo checks out a really good game as well. Well done. Can we get another chance here? Sackle's calling for it. But I'm actually going to play him short. And get Navarro on the overlap, perhaps. Navarro, can he get there? Not the best ball from Seckle. That's what I'm talking about. I know his passing, but he's probably not going to be the best. But that's an easy LB1. He hasn't converted any player. I don't care which possession you play, should be able to ping that ball over the top. Over on the ball here. Oh, they can't do it. Come on, on the ball here. Let's not drop points here now. Well done from Baldy. Good deception. Delgado, well done. Not going to force it there. So on the ball. Can he play Delgado? He can. Now can he play Seckle? Now Seckle's through. Can Seckle finish this game? Seckle can! That's the striker we need. The camera's gone weird. He celebrates like a rat right in front of the home fans. Seku, number 20, has made it 3-1 today. What a comeback for our goal. Villa are fuming. The fans are booing. We hold it well. The great run. They hold his run well. And he's absolutely bulleted it on the front post. The keeper's got no chance. Finally, a bit of form in the team. Well done. So we needed this result today, like every game. And we have 85th minute now. And it looks like we've definitely got the dub here today. I can't see we're going to come back into this now. Nigel had a really good game to on the goal scoring sheet. Scalvini, can he play it over to Navarro? He can. Team will check and Guy are never playing a really good game. We're just going to bomb this down. Sek was actually wanting it in the middle. Can we play it one more there to Delgado? And there's a great save from Stan Kovic again. We are looking deadly in this formation. Yes, he gets the caps to find the young man. Right, what can we do here? Well, we might as well swing this in. Let's get it in the box again. It's going to. Oh, is that the best ball to. The belt trump. It's gone to Sal. We're going for the shot from Sal. It gets blocked. Still alive though. Navarro on the shot here. He's gone for the finesse. He's just hoped and prayed maybe it'll go on to get a fourth of the game for Argo. But it doesn't matter. A bit of fume out of bottom and that. The way support of Argo definitely going to take a lovely 3 1 away to Villa. And it looks like, lads, we have maybe found our new formation because that worked. And just especially up top, we had so many more chances. And that is what we've been missing. And that's what that man needs a lot more Benjamin Seku. And we have done it. Proud of the boys today. We brought it back from 1-0 down from Castillo. And we've ended up with a 3-1 win to Plymouth Argo. We'll continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the last game of the season, you can see here Pedro Navarro is actually liking the position he's playing, which is true in a way. I mean, you can see why he's probably saying that. Playing in right mid where he's more of a right winger, like centre forward kind of vibe player. I think he needs to play in that position and we're going to neutralize him a lot more get the most out of him in that type of position so the last game of this episode lads is against leeds a team we've uh, had a bit of problems in the past 
in the lower divisions. So can we do it today at the Ellen Road away? Let's get into the lineup. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineup today against Leeds. We want to end with a dub and that's why we have got the strongest team possible. As you can see, we have started with the 4-3-2-1 today with David Seco in the bar up top, Moretti, Sal Pizarro in the middle, Scalvini, Nigel, Baldi, Czech and Cooper in goal. If you ask me, that's a very, very strong team on paper. And with the formation, hopefully it does a lot better today. Looking at the Leeds United team though, Martinez up top. I don't know which Martinez that is. There's a lot of Martinez in, in the world right now. Volland in Cam. Who else have they got here? Let's have a little guy. No, Godfrey at the back there. Fast in centre back. Tagnifico as their captain and left back the Argentine. And that's who I can really recognise here. But not a bad team from Leeds. But we have definitely got the stronger side here today. So see if we can end with our second dub of the episode. Come on. So here we go then. A Wade to Leeds United. A very, very big team in real life. I love Leeds, I must say. You know, if I have to go through rankings of the teams I support, Leeds will be up there. I do like Leeds. Um, I hope they stay up in the Premier League in this career mode and in real life. But they haven't got the best team here, I'm going to say it. So I'm hoping Argo can do the job today, especially with a brand new formation. Especially with Navarro in more of the attacking row, not in the right mid row, where he's not really neutralised to the fullest. So let's see what happens. Come on. So here we go then. At the Ellen Road against Lead. They are in the white and yellow uh, kind of ghost stripes here. And I'll go in the home kit in the natural green and white colours. So see what we can do against Lead. A new formation. Also, we tried it in the second game, in the second half, and prevailed really well. Not should we say this and they'll score right away now and change myself. Get out, please. Oh, scrappiness. And I've jinxed myself. I've jinxed myself. What a start for Leeds. What a start there. Five minutes in and Volland makes it 1-0. Oh, how unlucky can you get there? I mean, it's a good ball into the mixer. We've done well to defend it. And it's bounced off Scalvini's knee. Lifted the ball higher. And caught check off guard. And Volland's reacted. Contested for it. And he's got a goal. It's early stages though. Just one of them goals. Come on. Keep your heads up. Well then. 1-0 down in the 5th minute. Or 6th minute. I'd like to pop up there. Keep your heads up though. I mean. You know. Shit happens. You know. We can see shit goals. It is what it is. That is football. Sometimes that happens. Good ball inside. But just a bit sloppy there. Just need to be a little bit quicker. A bit of an RBA there. I feel like. And we would have got that. Sorry, let's not bring the centre backs out. That's alright, kind of. Agrafik on the ball now. Checked as well. Well done. That's it. That's it. Let's not force it. And again. Poor. Oh, very poor. I told you to pull back again. You didn't do it. Oh my god. Well, this is not the start we wanted. Let's uh, let's actually pick up the game now, lads. Come on. I mean, a good save from Cooper. Expecting to save it on the near post. Don't think it was going to go in regardless if he was there anyway. Probably could have hit the post, but let's get this ball out from Pizarro. It's a good header, and Cooper's got to step up again. Cooper can't be happy at the moment because uh, we have really uh, started off this game really poorly. And at this rate, we can go back to the 4 4 2. Just like that. It's a good play, this. Come on, we need to get the ball here, lads. Well, from Paul Dave doing the job, but how are we not. Re <laughs> we got about five or six players in the ball there on the ball. And we cannot make that challenge one session back. And you can see Cooper there is absolutely fuming. I don't blame him. 20 minutes in. And what are we doing? We're playing like a Sunday league team. We cannot grab the ball. We really have started this game poorly. And at this rate, they can make it too. All right, come on. It's a good turn, potentially. Right, well done. Good ball. Now we go. Seku, get the touch, my man. Well done. Right, come on, we've got the ball now. There we go. Right, now let's actually play some football. There we go. Right. Navarro on the ball, plays it. Check, nice play this. Paul David, come on, my man. I mean, what's going on with him? He's just not. Normal days there, he'll just like, muscle them, he'll just run at them, and he's just. been a bit sloppy recently. Approaching the 30th minute now. Nothing's happened, anything at all for Argos. It's all been leads. Not the start we wanted at all. Look at this look. Tiki Taka. And there's an absolute screamer from Leeds. At this rate, Argo deserve to lose. I'm trying my best to control this team, as, but what is going on here? 
what a goal that is and we find ourselves 2-0 down before the break what a goal that was a lovely one to there and Tony Martinez number 35 outside the box scores an absolute belter past Cooper you can't blame Cooper he's been brilliant the whole team's been shocking come on at this rate we just need to keep possession and we just need to keep the ball against this very dangerous lead side because we have just not done nothing good turn the ball's on the ball, come on, you've got to get that. It's a bit more integrity, lads. You've got to just push for it. And Ubers are there, get up for it. Good challenge. Oh, the ref balls in Pilon, isn't he? Well, it looks like we have actually uh, injured Volibus being on this, but it looks like it's going to be a yellow card if Zaro. Is it going to be a yellow? It is going to be a yellow. A bit harsh, I think, ref. Come on. It's not that bad, is it? I ain't going to look at the replay because I know it's just going to prove me wrong, but. <laughs> right, come on. Let's wake up a little bit. You know, we've seen how deadly this formation was in the second uh, half of the last game. And this game, it's just really tore us apart. It's just not done nothing for us. Not favours tore us through again here. This time we've actually defended it. Good block over. Let's get some runs. Navarro, get a good run going. That's it, a lot better. Not the best touch though, again, like... I don't know, just get the ball and run with it straight away. You're just slowing down there. We can't get a lock on there. It's a good shot and Cooper again has to step up. I'll tell you what, we need a big second half because this is embarrassing from myself and the team. Imagine being the way support this, absolutely shocking. But let's say the rest going to blow for the rest, so there's no point here. Probably going to blow it, there it is. I mean, well, where do I start? No decent runs from the attack, the midfield are just, they might as well not be there, and the defence as well might as well be there. I mean, no integrity at all, no desire to actually want to play. Not good at all. Definitely a couple of changes at half time to maybe change this team up into the second half. Terrible half. I'll let you know for me any changes. Radio, ladies and gentlemen, three substitutions right now, and that's Hardy on for Seco, Meta on for the B boy Pizarro, and Connor Willis is on for Scalvini. So hopefully these three changes can just wake up the team in the second half. Hardy could be through here. It's a good ball, but just a little bit heavy, but. Even that's just more promising. So on the ball here, which gets a bit found there. Willis on the ball, plays that out wide to bowl it. Good ball. Hardy on the ball, perhaps he can. Hardy, can he maybe get that in from that angle? And he can't. He is ruled offside anyway. A bit unfortunate there. It's a good run, but he's actually making runs, which is what I like to see. Not too shabby indeed right there. Best one there. Again, Connor Wiz gets caught at this time. And Waller's on the ball hit. Well done. A lot better. Come on. You need to get a goal here. Come on, man. A good chance here. Navarro make the run into the gap. Good skill. Oblap's on there with Sheck. Paul Davis making a run inside. Paul Davis! He just missed a the shot there. And it goes out for a goal kick. A lot better, though, this second half. What was this in the first round? Would have been a lot better. We just need to get a goal. We need a goal now just to get something out of this game. Probably the worst game of the season so far, I'd like to say. Not the best header down there. But always got to win that. Oh, it's been so deadly for the man. I just cannot touch him. Good ball there. That's it. A simple deal on his bike again. We just cannot get a challenge. I mean, I've got to give it to Leeds. They have just closed us out with everything. We're getting turned. Left, front, and centre, and then you get. Oh, God. Well done. Somehow we redeemed ourselves there. Come oh, on. Maybe I should have held it a little bit more there. But it's, you know what I mean? It's just not better runs, is it? We're getting the ball. We're just not getting any decent, clear cut chances. Like, actually, decent runs. Nigel, you lost it there, my man. That's poor from you. And Cooper has to pull off another save. Yep, they'll get her on. Why not? Absolutely shocking today. What a way to uh, finish up the episode. What I can do is apologise, but you know, the team hasn't turned up at all here. I mean, you got oh, come on, Connor. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what, what, what do I need to do there? It's time to go. Regardless of the rating, because we see it in Hardy scoring goals, the rating doesn't matter sometimes. But come on, I mean, what is that? Connor Willis needs to do better there. 
How have you not won this ball? <laughs> You've won it there. And somehow he's got the pass off and he's just tiki tackered in that little small triangle. And it looks like in this embarrassment today for our goal. 3 0 to Leeds. Fair play to them, man. Embarrassment. Maybe this isn't the formation. Rodeo, can we at least get a consolation for the uh, the fans that have travelled up all that way? Because this is a, a joke. I will be attacking a lot of players in the uh, press conference because this is a, a disgusting the team display today, I must say. Can we get it in the box there? Del Gay is actually going to try and contest that, the poor lad. At least he's actually trying. And this is not what we wanted today. Navarro has actually won it there. Hardy's on the back post. But there, like, what is that? It's a simple dink to the outside of the box and it's gone to their player. What more can you do? And we can get a lock on here. It's a good boy, well, but Bowley's going to get that. And we still can't get anything out of it. We're done for noise, but it's a, it's a sloppy touch. I've got nothing left. Ah. Uh, well, let's just forget this about this game, shall we? Because, uh... It's an embarrassment. Too many sloppy mistakes to the game at the back. And it's bloody bolting all over again. If you uh, if you don't get that reference, then... Uh, well, just don't look at the uh, Bolton or go uh, Wembley game. Because uh, that's what I feel like today. It's an absolute embarrassment. So just like that, 4-0 to Leeds against Argo. Our fake, our actual biggest defeat of the season. Oh, I'm speechless. I mean, we literally have not done nothing. I mean, it's definitely not the formation. No. Nothing. No good runs. No desire. Two or three silly mistakes at the back. And then all them boys need to... Need to put their head down in shame. Because that was an absolute embarrassment. For the viewers watching at home and the, the fans travelling up. I must have... That was absolutely shocking. Daniel James with two goals, but two shit goals, I'm going to say it. Two silly errors where we should have dealt with it easier. And that's a big blow for us. 4 0 to Leeds. We continue on. Just a couple of questions for you. Radio question time. And it's the time to attack the players because that was embarrassment. That was a very tough game for you. Well, yeah, it was. Just Leeds is absolutely towards the part. It just didn't turn up at all. Going, man. Yep. I mean, loading into this, we didn't have any shots. Literally didn't, really. I wish I could attack him, man, but the options uh, were all praises, which is annoying. That's a defeat for Leeds and a draw at the same point. We mustn't repeat mistakes. That's true. You know, like I said, I'm not always going to doom and, uh, I'm not gonna be with, uh, doom and gloom for the team, you know what I mean? I'm going to attack him sometimes. It's not going to be all praises. You know, look, really looking to score in today. It was absolutely shocking. The whole team was. The only player that could have actually done it right was Cooper. Let us get bullied. We did. I don't care if it goes down to content. They need to hear it. Poor Cooper. What the hell was he supposed to do with a chance of today? Thank you. That's shocking. all the questions we've got for you. We need to figure out. We continue on. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up the episode today. A very sad episode today. You know, obviously getting knocked out to uh, West Ham there. And then the second game, we changed formation in the second half unbelievable scenes so we know what we went in to the third game thinking all right new formation this is going to do absolutely class and then boom Lee's just went nope you're not having it 4-0 defeat embarrassment from the team right there a lot of things need to change in the next episode because if we want to get top five we can't be bottling games like that and to well to, especially 4-0 that is a very bad indeed but it looks like the next episode we're going back to England at Wembley Stadium in the international friendlies against them but what I'll do for them because I think the last thing you lot want to see is probably me playing phone 90s on them games there so we'll probably just simulate through them and I'll show you the results from them and then we'll get back to the league so ladies and gentlemen if you did like this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye